we're going to move to a new model of growth, how can we use frugal innovations um, as an enabler, but also as an accelerator, and also to some extent as a regulator? Um, and I wanted to come to the other point about, and, and maybe in that sense we have to ask ourselves about, you know, how do we do this by staying within the current carbon budget? Because we obviously have eaten a lot into the carbon budget. Um, so how do we enable a new system whereby we can stay within the current carbon budget and we can provide incentives um, to ensure that we're not, you know, again, out of control in terms of our emissions? Um, but I wanted to provide another perspective, which is frugal innovations as um, a regulator of social justice. Um, and I wanted to look at it from a political economy perspective. And basically to ask ourselves, you know, whose frugal innovations are we talking about? I, 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 mean, I, I feel like we, we probably need to challenge a little bit the, the whole concept. Um, and who takes the lead? Who takes the lead? You know, how do we give it scale? Um, who controls the orientation, I think, is important. I think these are not political economy neutral, um, especially because there's an economy element at, it, um, at, at, the, at the very bottom of this whole thing, at the, at the very heart of it. We're talking about business um, initiative enterprises um, and new forms, of, um, new forms of growth. So there's an, an inherent economic rationality at the bottom of it. Um, but I also want to add that in many countries in Africa, um, because of the, I'd say, communitarian structure, um, traditional structure, uh, many of our populations are well rehearsed in frugal innovations. You know, they have frugal reflexes. They have been doing frugal innovations for a long time. So I think um, there, are, there is a thing or two that we can learn from them. So I think there is a sense of how do we then shift, you know, um, the dynamics slightly so that we place a lot of emphasis on endogenous innovations and development, um, on endogenous learning, and we try to shift the power um, and governance structures a little bit because I think a lot is now weighted, sometimes very much weighted against local choices and control. You know, so for me, there is a need to see how we level the playing field here. 